Curve fitting, it says find the function y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, whose graph contains the following coordinate points. Do you know what we're actually doing? We're finding a cubic regression. We're actually doing a cubic regression. So it says I've got three coordinate points, it's going to give me three equations. If I know that ax squared plus bx plus c equals y, I know that if I have a coordinate point 1, negative 1, this says x is 1, y is negative 1, that a times 1 squared plus b times 1 plus <coughs> c equals negative 1. So this says that a plus b plus c equals negative 1. I have a second coordinate point which is going to be 3 negative 1. This says that a times 3 squared plus b times 3 plus c equals negative 1. This gives me 3 squared is 9, so 9a plus 3b plus c equals negative 1. So in other words, I'm forming a system of three equations and three unknowns. And that uh, if I have negative 2, 14, that a times negative 2 squared plus b times negative 2 plus c equals 14. Negative 2 squared is 4. Negative 2 times b is negative 2b plus c equals 14. And there's your system. Now the matrix for that system will be 1, 1, 1, negative 1, nine, three, one, negative one, four, negative two, one, fourteen. Now if I like, I could do it by hand, and remember that's where I have the main diagonal, then I clear nine and four using the one, and then I'll come down here and clear whatever is there using this number here, then rewrite it back out, and then solve. But uh, in this particular instance, you can do it by hand, but we're going to do a, put this guy into the matrix A into our calculator, and we're going to do an RREF on the matrix A. That's going to put it in where reduced echelon form. So I'm going to put this up here. So turn it on and then clear. And then uh, matrix, it's over x to the minus 1, so second matrix. And then I'm going to add it because I'm going to put it in A. It is already a 3 by 4, so it's a 3 by 4, enter. So it's ready to go. Just type over top of it. 1, 1, 1, negative 1. Uh, 9, 3, 1, negative 1. And 4, negative 2, 1, 14. Now I've typed it in rows. And since I typed it in rows, I'm going to check it in columns. So I have a negative 1, a negative 1, and a 14. And then I have all 1s. And then I have a 1, a 3, and a negative 2. And then I have a 1, a 9, and a 4. And it looks like we've got it correct. So then I come out by doing second quit, I come back out to the home screen, 
and then we're going to do put it into row reduced echelon form so matrix now we want to do math now if you remember you go all the way down and there's our REF is on B and it's in the matrix A so I have to let the machine put the matrix in so go back into matrix pull off the one I want which is A and then press enter and there it is that's a matrix in row reduced echelon form so that this is going to be equal to the matrix 1 0 0 1 0 1 0 negative 4 0 0 1 2 now if I had all zeros I'd have a dependent system or if I have zeros here and a 2 there I would have something that had no solution but in this particular case this is <coughs> X this is Y actually it's not really X Y and Z it's A B C so this says that A is equal to 1 B is equal to negative 4 C is equal to 2 and our answer is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c or y equals 1 x squared minus 4x plus 2 that is a parabola or a quadratic that goes through those three coordinate points. We just did a quadratic regression. So if I wanted to do a quadratic regression, strat, stat, uh, edit, and I'm going to clear that guy and that guy. The three coordinate points are, so x's are 1, 3, negative 2, y's, negative 1, negative 1, 14. Check the coordinate points. Uh, 1, negative 1, 3, negative 1, negative 2, 14. So I'm in a stat menu now. And I'm going to do a quadratic regression. So stat, calculate. Quad regression is a 5. And notice what you get. A is 1, B is negative 4, C is 2. And what is it? R squared is 1. I have a perfect fit. So you just did a quadratic regression. So that particular problem, uh, you'll be allowed to use our REF. But anything else you're going to have to do with uh, by hand. You should always know how to do something by hand. Why? Because there's always a time you will forget your calculator, or uh, your batteries will be dead, some kind of awful thing will happen.